Some people come to me and tell me, they, I say, well, what you are doing for the last few years? I'm in Im Imani. I say, how long you've been there? Eight years. I say, well, you're not paying money anymore. <laughs> what you paying money? It's two years. So, so, I mean, we're doing a lot of wrong. We cannot continue this. Based on the construct of the Imani program, young people who have signed on should not remain under the status of Imani after three years. According to information from the Youth Ministry, the program entails varying components, including on-the-job training. It says trainees after the graduation from Phase 1 of the program, which is two years, can be engaged for a further 18 months maximum, which should then eventually lead to permanent employment. Six years on, political leader of the NNP, the party who designed and implemented the program, says an exit strategy is now being put in place. But that is the Ministry of Education. You cannot be in the school teaching. Well, in some cases, person not supposed to teach, sit down and be money working. I'm working for seven years and we call it every money. They are no longer money. No point taking thousands of young people. We give them hope and to the Imani program, and after two years, what, no exit strategy? Some of them exit with something, but we don't want them, some of them, we want all of them who have done well in the program to exit seriously with opportunities for the future. The Prime Minister added that this is part of an overall plan of ensuring young people are afforded opportunities for a better quality of life. An important part of this new exercise is the exit strategy. So young people coming in will know when, when a year and a half in the program, a year in the program, you should know your aptitude for particular activity. So if it is a cooperative in agriculture to build production in the agricultural sector, we have you there. If it's an IT organic group, that can provide services to the community, we, you are empowered to have a business in that area. Eugenia Peters, GBN News.